What's going on YouTube? I haven't seen you guys in a while. Got some new products in. Figured I'd start throwing up some videos. I'd do a little vlog this time. Show you all some of the new stuff I got. And um, really enjoying pretty much everything so far. We got a new mod. I got the Smoke BT50. This is the uh, 65 watt upgraded version. It takes an 18650. It goes up to 65 watts, but it's very hard to get to 65 watts. Um, when the battery is fully charged, I can get it about 50, 55. Uh, just depends on your build quite a bit. It doesn't seem to be able to push over 6 volts too well. And I think it's because of the single 18650 that's in it. But um, still a good mod. Still, uh, still does a pretty good job at chucking clouds. Uh, you can put whatever you want on it, more or less. I mean, it goes all the way down to point two. Um, does pretty good, and I'll, I'll break that down into another video and show you guys a little bit more on that. Also got the Mutation X V2. This is a clone. Um, I, I support clones quite a bit because they're cheaper. Uh, they fit my budget a little bit better. I mean, if I had a lot more money, I'd get all authentic. But for I understand, the authentic uh, Mutation X is like 35 40 bucks but I may be wrong I'll do some research and look that up before I talk to you guys about it I also have the K fun v4 clone um, it's actually quite a bit better than the old K funds I've got a K fun 3.1 um, it originally d did not have the adjustable airflow you know you fill it up from the bottom and all that stuff or from the very bottom the 510 you know you filled up the old one down there um, I ordered a new base for it because the old one was just pretty much shot. I mean, it was gone. Um, I might show that off, but I mean, that's an old K fun. It's not really that important. There's a million videos out there on it. But I'll show you guys about the V4. It's pretty cool. It's got some neat features in it. Uh, it's a lot easier to fill than the old ones. Um, it's pretty cool. I also have, let's see here. I tried to do a video on this one a while back. Um, didn't really make it through there and didn't do a too good of a job on it. The lighting one here was real bad, wouldn't focus, none of that stuff. And I'm sorry if, uh, if the auto focus on this one's kind of crazy too. But I've got a Limo. I was going to show that off. Um, I used it religiously for quite some time. I really do like the Limo. It's a little bit tighter of a draw than what I really wanted, but I got used to it and still, you know, I still liked it quite a bit. The only thing about it that I've had so far is the chimney on the inside. Somehow it got seized up. Like I didn't cross thread it and I didn't over tighten it or anything like that. But it seized up on the base on the inside real bad. And um, of course, being kind of desperate, I took some pliers to it. I was still trying to be very gentle with it. And I took uh, the very top piece of the chimney off, barely grabbed it, and it did bend. Um, the only thing is I got it back together so when I build it I can I don't take off the very top piece of the chimney anymore I have to leave it intact a little bit of a work around there but it's not that bad I can still manage so I'll do a video on it as well sometime soon I got me some HE4s these things are pretty slick 2500 milliamp with a 20 amp pulse and um, a 20 amp continuous and a 35 amp pulse I believe pretty solid batteries they last a pretty good time um, especially at lower wattages and stuff like that as always might throw that in a video and talk about those a little bit but I mean that's pretty much all there is to know about those next thing I got is the old coil master um, I've seen these things going pretty wild for a while everybody's talking about them you know and here's the thing though there's a lot of people that are going to complain say oh you got to wrap your stuff by hand that's what makes it what it is you know and and all these sub tanks and all that stuff people are buying they got the pre-built coils and pretty much now you can get a guy and I have several friends of mine that I work with that literally went to the store bought an Atlantis got a good mod and they're already chugging clouds and they're already just as happy as can be they, they, got, they got lucky they got to skip the entire portion of uh, trial and error you know that some of us went through and most of us still do but to, but to be honest with you whatever works works man um, if you want to run a sub tank you know go for it you want to rub an Atlantis go for it uh, Delta 2's are looking crazy um, I had a friend of mine fire that thing at 70 watts on a clearomizer 70 watts without a dry hit I mean I don't think he chain vaped it I mean it would probably dry out but 50 watts those things are still putting out more clouds than some of the drippers. Pretty wild, man. I mean, like sweet buttery Jesus, those things are crazy. 
I cannot believe how far the clear misers have gone um, in the past six months to a year. Um, I mean, I, I've had several clear misers and I've tried all of them and uh, you know, I've tried some of the newer stuff. I'm definitely wanting to get um, one of the new sub ohm tanks for myself, you know, like the, the Delta or something like that, the Delta two. And the reason is cause you know, when I'm at work, maybe I just want to chill out or I've got to work. I don't have time to build. Or if I just want to be lazy and not build anything, I can still sit there and vape and have a good vape and I can watch some TV and I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to worry about dripping, none of that stuff. They're pretty solid devices. They're pretty slick. I'm going to take a quick hit real quick. Sorry about that. I just hit the table. Apologize. Take a couple hits and, um, Talk a little bit more. You can see the battery's starting to die, so it automatically adjusts the power. But that's it. I'm just running a dual coil, uh, just simple, simple dual coil in here. 0.5 ohms. 40 watts. Two seconds. Be right back. Sorry about that. We have some quiet, uh, some crazy weather out here, and I hear some people outside running around. Got to make sure they're uh, they're doing all right. I am at work. It's a 12-hour shift, and there's nothing to do here. The weather's pretty much shut everything down. Um, not many, not much foot traffic outside. So please excuse me if I have to stop and um, go check on people and stuff like that. Okay. But yeah, 40 watts. And it still fires away pretty good. Um, as the battery dies in this, notice that it'll kick the wattage down a little bit because it can't boost up that far, uh, which is all right because I mean you can always just switch the batteries out. You got to take the two screws out, and there are some long-winded some bitches too. Um, or you can charge it. Uh, this is the first one I've seen that you can charge uh, more than like half an amp. It says you can go up to two amps on this, and I've yet to charge it using the box. I'd rather do. Uh, Use my night core for charging and stuff like that. Hang on a second, I gotta grab my juice. <laughs> Drip a couple drips here. Yeah, sorry, the <laughs> it's a little shaky. I'm set up on the table right now. I don't have a whole lot going on right now. Just thought I'd uh, do some rambling and say hi to you guys and kind of miss y'all. I haven't talked to y'all in a while. Uh, my other video, the vapor tongue thing, the thing is still going crazy. Uh, I appreciate you guys sharing the crap out of that and uh, as many views as I've gotten and everything. Uh, it's good information. I didn't necessarily get it myself. I did do some digging around and I found, uh, I think it was Mount Baker Vapor. They posted up on their website and I found it laying around. I was like, I, I want to share that with everybody because, you know, it's pretty good information. Really digging this Mutation X. It's pretty good. It's got crazy good airflow. The flavor's still really good. I'm running some uh, three milligram juice in it. Thing is, I was running that juice in the Limo and the uh, K Fun, and I got some vapors fatigue myself, and I couldn't taste it. And I was like, well, I don't really have much more juice to, you know, go through. So I was flipping, you know, back and forth between it and another juice. Um, I finally just got to where I couldn't taste much of anything. I put it in a dripper because I need some intensity. And it's uh, definitely, definitely kind of spice things back up. I got some flavor going on again. Pretty soon I'm planning on getting a whole bunch of juice. Um, just want something different. I've got all the gear that I, I need. I mean, I'm not one of those guys that needs to go out and spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on gear, and I don't have the money for that. Juice is where it's at for me. I just got to find stuff that I like. Big shout out to my boys, Caleb, Caleb Warta over at Liquid Heads. Stuff is, is awesome. It's good. Every juice that I've gotten from him has been very, very good. Tastes great. Right now I'm running, uh, it's called Thai Girl. It's like a pineapple mango rice. The rice sounds kind of weird, but it all fits together really well, and it tastes great. Uh, the guy does some really good magic with juice over there. All of us like it. The whole group that I'm in, after dark, they're all huge fans of the juice. Um, some of those guys will go through uh, like a 200-something milliliter bottle of, in like four or five days, it seems. Those guys vape like crazy. I'm just a little uh, a little easy goer over here. You know, I mean, drippers, I quit doing drippers for a while because they just eat so much juice. Um, and I, I didn't like, you know, I didn't like 
going through 15, 20 mils sitting at work or something like that. And now, I mean, I kind of miss it. I really do miss the drippers. They got great flavor, all that stuff. They're pretty awesome. But yeah, I'll break all these things down individually, talk about them, show them off, um, tell you what I like and what I don't like about them. And I got all of this stuff from Fast Tech. Uh, it took, uh, it took um, just about three weeks to get it. Once it hit the States, it was here in like three days, but it went from Singapore Post and it took ages. Um, I mean, that's just kind of part of the deal, but um, it wasn't hurting. Still had my old Vapor Shark that I got. Uh, back when I had some money, I had some money come in and, and bought myself a treat and had a vapor shark. Probably won't be using that too much more any anymore, just because it's got a smaller battery in it and um, kind of keeps me attached to a wall as much as I use it. But uh, I'll break some of these things down, show them off to you, talk about them, and I'm gonna try to fire this channel back up and get things rolling again. Uh, I've got a whole lot of other stuff coming in too. Got some friends of mine. There's a K box floating around. I'm gonna get the, the Kanger K box in here. Uh, probably do some information on it. I'm going to get an IPV Mini coming in from one of my friends that I work with. I literally got one guy, he come in here while uh, after his shift and I talked to him for a few minutes and I had him try out some of my stuff. He went out and got him one, got him start, got him, and he hasn't smoked a cigarette since. Um, I'll be honest, I have one or two, you know, every week or two. I have one just to, I, I don't really have an excuse for it, but I'll have one every now and then. Um, Still got some people that are just kind of like iffy about it. They don't really know what to do around, you know, e-cigs and stuff like that. Especially when I'm chucking big clouds, they're like, "Oh, that's just that's just ridiculous. I don't I don't understand it at all." But you know, we're we're getting the word out there, and I've got uh, three people that I work with that all just jumped right in. Uh, one of them, he was kind of sketchy about it, and as soon as he took his first hit off his own device, like he just he lit up, quit smoking, was just just peachy. So yeah, I've got the uh, IPV Mini. There's a 30 watt out there, and then he gave it to his wife and upgraded to the 70 watt, and he's just, he's static about it. So I might get either or or both in here or something uh, to show it off. The Kanger K box might be coming in. It's a 40 watt device. Uh, we haven't got it up and running yet because we haven't got all the things you know for that person to fire up and everything. But I should have some more more things coming in to show you guys. Uh, let's see here. I think that's about all I got for now. Uh, I'll have some more coming up pretty soon. So I'm I'm glad you guys have hung out with me, uh, stuck around. I know it's been a kind of dull times for a little while. Um, I'm sure you all have found some other stuff to entertain you. I'll also hopefully have um, Alex come in. He's one of my co-workers, the guy that I got started. He's the one that's got the IPV minis and uh, the one that's pretty much quit. He hasn't had a cigarette since. It's just he's completely satisfied with vaping and he's all about it man like he went from day one to day two like he was just all he dug in he melted his brain with all the information he could I mean he's dedicated himself and I'm, I'm pretty proud of him that's what's kind of got me fired back up and got me back into all this you know I didn't really have anybody going to you know I didn't really have anybody that was in on it anymore I just felt like I kind of washed out I didn't have any uh any need for any you know to just to do any of this but it's really got me fired back up and um I do have another friend of mine that i talk to every now and then i don't work with him he actually lives about 30 45 minutes away and um i kind of i kind of nudged him in the right direction he had some friends that really encouraged him and he's gone nuts over all this stuff i mean he's got he's got some really nice pieces he's got some cool stuff you know it's a new hobby for him he's definitely a collector now and I'm, I'm pretty proud of him. He's he's definitely uh, from the first couple days. I mean, he just took off. He uh, started building his own stuff. I mean, he he does really well now, um, and I'm proud of him. I'm actually proud of all these guys that have that have quit smoking or that have started vaping. And um, it, it's it's nice to it's nice to see that I can I can be a part of that again. You know. Um, and get them all my guys going and, and get them vaping and getting everybody so happy about this. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a huge deal. Um, I mean, smoking kills you. It's horrible. I'd rather vape anyway. Like I said, I mean, don't call me a hypocrite. I had a cigarette here and there. I mean, I get it. Um, but I mean, every, and it's usually when I'm out of juice or something like that, but 
this is it's awesome. I enjoy it. It's it's good to have my friends and have people to chat with a common ground, you know. But yeah, he he might be popping in sometime, and we'll do we'll shoot a you know a video and just you know sit and shoot the shit and vape and it's whatever we can think of at the time. It'll pop up and we'll talk about it and, and try to make points out of it and stuff like that. You know, like something recently since it's been so cold out here and been so crappy out, um, you can sit in your car and take a few vapes, and all of a sudden there's a fall there's a, a film. <laughs> over your windshield and I've never had that issue until recently because it's been so cold out but uh, he'll probably sit down with me we'll talk and have some fun and, and shoot the shit uh, maybe you know try to bring up whatever issues we can if you guys have some stuff you want us to dig around on or um, try to hit or talk about let us know and uh, you can leave in the comments or whatever you want and we'll try to come back and, and, uh, and see what we can do about throwing out some information or just talking about something you know if you guys want to know something let us know uh you'll have to excuse me for being in uniform and all that stuff i mean it's uh i should probably put a jacket on or something like that but it's it's cold outside and really hot inside these guys that uh own this construction site are heating us out so thank you again for watching and subscribing and following me through you know the the slow times uh, things will pick back up and I got some more stuff on the way probably be talking about juices sooner or later people that I recommend I'm not real good at the whole you know talking about how the juice tastes and all that stuff I can tell you the flavor profile if it sounds like something that's in your alley you know I'll let you know if it's good if it's you know if it tastes all right give it a shot like these guys these guys make awesome juice liquid heads makes really good juice um, and I, I enjoy um, uh, buying from them and I've gone back uh, two or three times now and I will continue to do so um, nice people good I mean they're fast I mean they're out of California I think it takes like two or three days for it to get to me um, they got good stuff same place I got the H the he fours got two of them from like 16 bucks um, which isn't bad I mean some people are charging up to $25 for a battery like the boosted, the vape boosted batteries and stuff. I've seen those things going for like 25 bucks a piece at some places. You know, that's crazy. This is pretty much the exact same battery. I mean, it doesn't have quite the amp limit as the other one, but it's the same, you know, mall rating, everything. And then they're two for 16 versus one for 25. Um, if you, I mean, if you're going to use uh, mechanical mods, you might pitch out for the little extra, you know, amperage or something like that. But when it comes to... Uh, regulated mods I mean you need a 30 amp battery that's pretty much going to cover anything that the box is going to do so I mean I don't really see the point in spending 25 bucks on a battery I'd rather spend that on some juice you know but yeah I'll probably break all the stuff down talk about it in different videos and uh, and go from there and hopefully I got a whole bunch of stuff coming out also remember like I said if you want to know something that you want us to talk about let me know because I like the random video I made about the whole vapors fatigue and the batteries, the um, little short tutorial I did about the batteries. You don't see much like that anymore. You know, like everybody's talking about the devices and they're getting into all this new, new tech and all this other stuff. I mean, yes, that's the main thing of it because there's so much going on. But the thing is, what about the small stuff? You know, what about the, the beginners? What do they, you know, what do they need to know about getting chargers and getting batteries and, and all that stuff? So if there's something in particular that somebody might want to know, throw it out to us and we'll see what we can do about it, okay? Thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. Peace out.